Grief Encounter support thousands of bereaved children every year. I'm Shelley Gilbert and I set up Grief Encounter to support bereaved children. When you experience the death of someone special like a parent or a sibling, your whole world is blown apart. Everything changes and not for the better. Each child is different, special, unique, but there are common threads that bring us together. When you experience the death of someone, you lose the way of communicating. So what is really important is to help kids find the way of how to communicate. Saying the words is great, it's amazing, but it's also about finding your way through using other ways. Meet Teddy, who was supported by Grief Encounter when his dad died. He was perfectly healthy and one day it just came as a shock wasn't really expecting it at all. Didn't know that was going to happen ever. He used to always come to my games and then obviously when he passed away it was like unusual not having him there to watch me. Grief Encounter supported me for about two years and my therapist really helped me become stronger and braver and develop who I am today. When I'm playing football, everything just like floats away. I learned that he's always there, even if I can't see him. And it really made me like love life again. This is Luke, who continues to amaze me every day, putting his grief in finding ways to fundraise for Grief Encounter. My dad, he passed away quite young, 56. I only had 12 years with him, but he was an inspiration to me and he taught me quite a lot in those 12 years. My therapist um, encouraged me to do a sport which is not in your normal daily activity. It was an amazing thing to happen at that time because they were so supportive um, at such, such a young age and that helped me through my early childhood. This is Layla's story. When my dad passed away, my life basically shattered. Um, in my therapy sessions, I mostly drew and painted and created art because that was how I found my way to express my grief. I've learned not to hide away from fear and not to be upset in private, but that it's something that I shouldn't be ashamed of and that I can share with the world. I'm so much more prepared to go through life and know how to handle things. Meet Gabriella and Annabella, who are currently supported by Grief Encounter. I was seven when Dad died. And was I three? She was three. Yeah. When I found out, I was kind of in denial a bit, but obviously I was still upset, but I kind of didn't want to like believe that it was true. When we first came to Grief Encounter, we had a therapist who came to us in school, and then we started going fishing. Um, we've done stuff with the choir as well. We've done so many things over the years that we've been with them. When I sing, I feel like all my worries go away because I'm kind of like singing them out. It's just a nice way to express all my feelings. Definitely important that children know that talking isn't the only way to cope. I really don't like talking about my feelings. You can talk about it in other ways rather than just saying it. My dad died when I was nine years old. He died due to bowel cancer. I felt like my whole world in one second had completely shattered in a thousand million pieces. My therapy journey with Grief Encounter started probably two weeks straight after my dad died. They were there, they were there for every single one of us. But what's incredible about Grief Encounter is that we are not a number. We are a family with a story and they know that story. I'm here now, 16 years on, still being supported by Grief Encounter. I turned my grief into helping others, and I'm now a qualified therapist myself, giving children true hope that they will get past this dark tunnel. It comes to a place of strength and a feeling of pride that we can get through this and we will be okay. I know how close to the edge you can be as a bereaved child. If we don't provide the opportunities and choice for these children and young people, I don't like to think of the consequences. This Children's Grief Awareness Week. Say the words.